What's going on guys? Welcome to Jay Explains, where I, Jay, kick around issues of interest. And in this video, we're going into the red pill, MGTOW, men's rights, and gynocentrism. So thanks for watching, do all the YouTube things, click the links in the description box, and let's get to it. According to Google, gynocentrism refers to a dominant or exclusive focus on women in theory or practice. Anything can be considered gynocentric when it's concerned exclusively with a female or particularly a feminist point of view. MGTOW is an acronym for men going their own way, a movement that believes that we live in a gynocentric society and want no part of it. To be honest, they make a compelling case, with no-fault divorces, child support, alimony, the Duluth model, women receiving lesser sentences for the same crime, female-to-male college graduation ratios, which are particularly bad in the black community, he for she, the welfare state. When you think about it, Hillary Clinton's presidency would have just been the cherry on top of the gynocentric Sunday that we have here in America. In the West, we love our women, and most men spend their lives ensuring that the women in their life are comfortable and safe. Catering to women is what our entire economy thrives on, and as guys, we're coded to protect them because biologically, we know they're weaker physically, but that begins the major conflict that, fem that feminism exploits. Because mentally, women can be far more devious and manipulative in many instances placing them as the stronger of our species. This is where men's rights activists, MRAs, come in. The issues that I've previously mentioned have been taken up by the likes of Terrence Pop, Jordan Peterson, Christina Hoff Summer, Paul Elam, and plenty others who have dedicated themselves to speaking up to point out the discrepancies and inequalities built into not just our laws and their applications, also our subconscious. And that's why it's called being red-pilled, an homage to the infamous Matrix scene. This is your last chance. After this, there is no turning back. You take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. So, am I red pill? Well, there's only one way to find out. This is a response video to Terrence Pop's 15 signs you may be mixed out or red pilled and not even know it. So, let's get to it. This is Bad Pop here, but I got good news for you. You might be a MGTOW red pill dude and not even know it. Winning. These are rules that are not set in stone. So you might identify with a couple of these or even all of them and still not consider yourself a red pill dude and that's just fine. Most of these dudes, not all of them, actually think on a higher plane. Their mind is awakened. These men have seen the way feminism has conditioned society and how these women and men are supposed to think and their minds have just opened up. But if this hasn't happened to you directly, you've seen somebody get right through the coals, be it your father, your grandfather, your friends and family. Completely unfair. They're walking all over me. If you're one of those dudes out there who's been divorced and you say, I'm never getting married again, guess what? You just took the red. If you like to pursue your hobbies over wanting to date or be in a relationship, guess what? You've taken the red pill. If you've been in a long-term relationship, men, you know this simple fact that your hobbies are gonna go bye-bye. You cow down and you surrender the money, you surrender the hobbies because guess what? It's what the family needs. We need to use that money for what's best for us. Which is code speak for we need to do what's best for me or me for she. No, God! No, God, please, no, no! You're gonna realize that these women are a huge J hassle. And again, we're generalizing for comedy. Not all women are like this, just like not all men are rapists. When your mind awakens, you lose patience for idiots and stupidity and emotional thinking. Anything that is illogical starts to drive you crazy and give you a headache. It might be a tumor. It's not a tumor. When these women come to the table and all they bring is sex, and all they want is your resources, they're really hard to trust. And on a side note, once you've had your heart ripped out enough times, it doesn't grow back. So when you make it abundantly clear that they can't put their hand in your wallet and sex isn't gonna influence you, that's all they have. That is why feminism hates MGTOW. Because you take a woman's most valuable bargaining chip 
and you toss it away. And their main attack is either personal, guilting, or shaming. That higher level thinking you're executing makes you immune to guilt and shame. Because let's face it, they're emotional thinkers and you are not. Ah! And it's pretty hard to guilt and shame a man who realizes how goddamn expensive you women are. So let's face it, when you're spending 70 to 80 grand just to get by when you're in a relationship, and then you realize you only need 23 when you're not, hell, all that extra money, that's goddamn retirement. And that's not even retirement, that's early retirement. Winning! If you don't have kids, because we already know what the family court does to men with kids. You are mine now! You belong to me! But when you finally say f it, edit that out, and you eject from the situation, you get to focus on yourself. Winning! When you were coming up in the system, how many times did you break up with these girls that said, You know what? I need space because I need to focus on myself. And what she's really saying there, <laughs> she's getting her tonsils buttered elsewhere and you're not needed. Now listen, if it's a good enough excuse for women, why is it not a good excuse? For you. And yeah, you're gonna have to do some stuff that possibly she would have done for you, but in feminist America, in the Western world, probably not. And the result of this cumulative mindset is simply this. You're probably not gonna have any female friends. Why? Because they're usually disloyal and you can't trust them, and why would you keep them around? MGTOW, Red Pill, it's not about being an anti-feminist, it's more about self-preservation. But feminism, on the other hand, you can't read into one sentence or one paragraph in any of their books that doesn't blame all of their troubles on men. So this is the end of signs you're a MGTOW, Red Pill dude and don't even know it. Now that you've seen it, maybe you think you're a MGTOW or Red Pill. It's not up to me to decide, and frankly, I don't care. Because guess what? This whole thing is working. Women are starting to see it, and they're piss f***ing scared. The Western world and all of its countries have noticed a steep decline in marriage and birth rate because men are just walking away from the table, and they don't want to have anything to do with these toxic feminist Western bitches. It actually fully is a woman's fault that she can't find a good man. So the final score is 9 to 2, and I clearly agree with this movement's message and wholeheartedly appreciate the fact that there are all these people out here fighting to give our species a chance to survive. So am I red-pilled? No doubt. But does that make me MGTOW? No. MGTOW is an ideology, and if you're watching this video, I would hope you know my strict rule on not committing myself to any specific ideology, primarily because that's how you get on the road to crazy town. There are MGTOW that refuse to deal with women at all, and want to mirror the extremes of the feminist movement, which many women admit is batshit insane. <laughs> I held my mother as we watched my father take his last breath around his family and loved ones in a house that he owned, at peace, knowing that he had done all he can in this world. We should all be so fortunate. She wrote out the counselor with him, and that is the trade-off. That's the value women potentially bring to the table, which is a responsibility far too many are happy to walk away from these days. So, with that being that, I'm going to bring this video to an end. Thanks for making it this far. Please do all the YouTube things. And until the next video, take care of yourself and each other.